Some of these kids have lived lives that are hard to talk about and hard to comprehend. The original children we took on all lost their parents in the tsunami. A lot of the large international charities were pulling out, were moving on. I realised I couldn't change what had happened for them, but it felt within my capacity to change what happened next for them. It's not about just what we do in Thailand. It's about that whole shared experience piece. So Young Hands is something that we establish for those under 25 here in Australia and New Zealand to be involved in doing something of a meaningful nature. But we don't have to build the enthusiasm. We've just got to create the pipeline for them to be involved. Going to school is on the Gold Coast and being unconscious, we wanted to create an opportunity for them to be conscious. We wanted to give them an alternative and that's what the Young Hands Ride is about. seen the awareness of them as people change. I've seen their tolerance for, for different people in need. I've seen them grow through the hardship of the ride. We run a bike ride and we ride from Bangkok down to Calak. And when they ride into the orphanage and they've ridden 500 kilometres or they've ridden 800 kilometres, it's this massive sense of accomplishment. realising that they've done something quite special and it will help them set vision and values for themselves for years to come. And they get to do something which is a really positive step in raising some money and supporting kids. And then of course the money that's raised from the experience helps us to continue to support the kids, ensure they have opportunities to go on to study at university. Hands has raised over $11 million. We've never spent a cent of donors' money on administration or fundraising, and we continue to grow in size of supporter base here in Australia, and also the communities we're supporting in Thailand. And spending time with them, it gives us food for our soul.